Hey everybody, since this week I'm not gonna be able to do an exercise video because I have some issues with my leg, I thought of answering some questions from you guys. So the first question is from Jimmy, a guy on YouTube, who asked me about how can he change, reverse a muscle imbalance he has. Basically his lower pec is less muscular than his right pec. So uh, what I want to tell you first is that a lot of people on YouTube make this issue sound really easy to fix, you know, just they just tell you do this kind of exercises and your muscles will balance out and the truth is not that simple now a lot of physiotherapists that are really good at their job try to fix this um, issue sometimes and they're that even they cannot do it so you have to realize that if you're born like that if one part of your body is more predominant then it's usually really difficult to change the form of that uh, muscle or part of your body in um, comparison with the other part of your body so for example I have my right arm is a lot more muscular than my right arm now when I say more it's not a huge difference but there is a difference and it's also more veinier so you know my right arm seems a look always a lot more veinier and my left arm is always less veinier and it's also a bit smaller in size so uh, what I did is I did this experiment for 13 whole months. I did a lot of exercise, a lot of more exercise with my left arm. I did a lot more uh, one-arm push-ups. I did a lot more dead hangs. And basically my strength, uh, even though it was less than my right arm, improved. And I can now do more one-arm push-ups with my left side. I can do a dead hang uh, longer with my left side, with my left arm. and basically my left arm has become stronger and besides that I also included uh, most of my daily habits um, I started doing them with my left arm so you know I started brushing my teeth with my left arm I started cooking I started um, cutting my hair everything I could do with my left arm I did you know just so the experiment was n not that biased so what happened after a year is that the muscularity, the tone, uh, the, the veins and uh, the size of my left arm didn't change at all. I mean it was the same as in the beginning. What changed is, what changed was only my strength. So the realistic approach to these issues is to just balance out your strength. You can just try to balance out your strength if your strength is of one side of your body is the same with the other or if there's a really small uh, difference then you have done the best you could do and it's good generally to not have a big difference in strength with from one side to the other but don't expect um, to change your genetic predisposition with exercise it's not that easy um, you told me you want some exercises for your lower chest now there are no exercises that can target only the lower part of your chest but what changes is the percentage that you use. For example, uh, when you do um, dips, that's the, probably the best exercise for, one of the best exercises for your lower chest. So I would uh, suggest you do dips. Um, also what you can do is focus on one part of the body. You know, when you're doing dips, you can concentrate on the contractions of your left side, just to be sure that they're um, at least balanced with your other Part of your body that's what I always do I balance both sides I focus on the contractions and make sure that I'm using the same amount of uh, strength in both sides since uh, with bodyweight exercises it's a bit difficult to uh, do a lot of one arm movements and um, that's basically all you can do so sorry if I didn't give you the answer you wanted but i um, trying to be realistic and I'm not trying I try not to give you not to bullshit you and to give you the truth so I hope you found this video helpful and until next time keep on training